Hi, my name is Mike Smolinski, and I'm the managing editor of Neurology Now magazine, your trusted resource for brain health. Neurology Now is published by the American Academy of Neurology and Walters Kluwer Health. We're here at the seventh annual Parkinson's Disease Therapeutics Conference, sponsored by the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research and the New York Academy of Sciences. With me is Dr. Kenneth Marrick of the Institute for Neurodegenerative Disorders. Uh, thank you very much for uh, spending time with us today, Dr. Marek. It's a pleasure. My first question is, um, what area of Parkinson's disease research do you focus on in your work? So my focus in Parkinson's disease research is on the development of biomarkers that can be useful in understanding the cause of Parkinson's disease and detecting how we can measure the change that occurs in Parkinson's disease patients. Mm -hmm. um, and what was the topic of your presentation here today? In particular, the topic of my presentation uh, was to uh, describe the progress we've made in a particular study, which is called the Parkinson's Progression Marker Initiative, or PPMI. Uh, can you explain to our audience what the um, Parkinson's Progression Markers Initiative is? Certainly. PPMI is a, is a large clinical study in which we are trying to understand and identify biomarkers of disease progression. So what is a biomarker? A biomarker is really any kind of objective measure of disease uh, that we can identify and measure over time. Mm -hmm. So for example, a biomarker for heart disease might be blood pressure uh, a bio or, or cholesterol. Uh, unfortunately, in Parkinson's disease, we don't have very many biomarkers that we can utilize uh, to measure disease progression. Uh, so the goal of this study is to identify biomarkers that may affect the clinical aspects of disease, or blood or spinal fluid, or using brain imaging to detect biomarkers, and to track that over time in people with Parkinson's disease, in healthy subjects, and people who are might be at risk for Parkinson's disease. Uh, would you summarize a few of the main points of your talk for our audience? So the main point of the talk is to uh, really identify for the, for the uh, researchers uh, the progress we've made so far in this study. Uh, the Parkinson's Progression Marker Initiative is a study that began about three years ago. Uh, and so far we have enrolled about 650 to 700 people in the study who will be followed over time uh, very comprehensively to try to identify these objective markers of disease progression. Again, why is this important? Uh, it's because the, what we'd like to be able to do is use these objective biomarkers in subsequent studies in which we are able to assess whether a drug might change or slow or even prevent uh, the onset of Parkinson's disease. Um, and how, how long will, the, will this particular study go on? This study will go on for a number of years, for about five to seven years. Uh, we have, the study began uh, about three years ago, but has recently been expanded uh, to include not only individuals who are uh, who have Parkinson's disease, but individuals who we are trying to identify who are at risk for Parkinson's disease. This is really important because Parkinson's disease uh, is a disease which progresses uh, over time, but even before symptoms are apparent, uh, there is evidence that, that there is uh, changes occur in the brain that can tell us that that person might be at risk for disease. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we can identify those people during that period, before symptoms arise, then it might be possible to ultimately treat them during that period and even prevent the disease from occurring. So that's a goal that's not here now, mm -hmm. and that's, that's, that's part of uh, the study. How, how are you finding those, those patients um, to, you know, to participate? How are you recruiting those people? Sure, so finding people who you think might be at risk for the disease but don't have the disease is, is tricky. Mm -hmm. and, and so we're taking, we're taking advantage of a number of different approaches. Uh, one approach is that we understand there are certain symptoms that occur very early in Parkinson's disease before the typical symptoms, uh, so the, uh, that, that might give us a clue that these people are at risk for disease. Mm -hmm. So those symptoms might include a loss of smell. And this is uh, a, an interesting phenomenon that in Parkinson's disease, uh, people develop a loss of sense of smell well in advance of when they develop the typical tremor or slowness of movements and so forth. And so we are seeking thousands of people 
who might uh, uh, want to participate in this study to simply take a simple smell survey. They can do this uh, online, or they can uh, they can they they can uh, contact. Uh, uh, through the website of individuals within the study uh, and uh, they may be eligible to participate in PPMI uh, in order for us to understand whether they might have a loss of sense of smell and ultimately be asked to participate more fully in the study. So that's an important way. Mm -hmm. uh, another way is that there is also an interesting uh, sort of sleep problem that people get uh, called REM behavior disorder or RBD. Uh, and this is, a, this is a problem in which, strangely, people sort of act out their dreams. And for, again, reasons which are unclear, individuals who have that problem are at risk to develop Parkinson's disease. So individuals who have a loss of sense of smell or have this sleep problem uh, will, will then be, be further assessed, be further evaluated with brain imaging and then they may well be eligible to be part of the study. Okay, um, can, and so the Parkinson's Progression Markers Initiative, uh, is there a website uh, that has a website for the trial? For it the does, study? the Parkinson's Progression Marker Initiative has a website. It is www.ppmi-info.org, okay. and there is a lot of information on there that uh, about how they, individuals might uh, uh, engage with the study. Uh, individuals can also go right to the Michael J. Fox website uh, because that also will provide all of the information they need uh, to, uh, to, to uh, uh, get, get, in, get involved with the study. Well, thank you very much for speaking with us today, Dr. Merrick. You're welcome.